Tio please. Hey there, this is Tio bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. I thought I'd take a break from my Lathe Legacies series to make something slightly shorter and um, kind of share some, some learnings that I have from KSP. So here you see I'm just going to make a quick little payload, something that you might need in a science playthrough or um, so, you know some some purpose for developing a a, a a helicopter or a vehicle with rotors. So here's my simple simple payload, a rover that's got some science experiments. And then let's say I want to drop this rover off somewhere's on Duna or Lathe or Eve or somewhere's with an atmosphere. I can use a helicopter or something with rotors to drop to deliver this payload. So simple payload, uh, reasonable size, not too small, not not ginormous. So let's let's slap together something with rotors that can carry that payload. So I find contra rotating helicopter designs to be the easiest. They're they're conceptually so much easier to design and understand. Uh, a conventional helicopter, for lack of a better word, using a tail rotor is is uh, beyond my abilities at this point. I've built a couple conventional helicopters that do fly but the tail rotor using the right size motors and pitch and right size blades and all that is just i haven't quite grasped so to kind of talk you through this then again contra rotating means the two motors that i've attached are on the same axis but they're going to rotate in opposite directions so you got to make sure that the rotation of the two one one is opposite the other and then the uh I'm, set, I'm setting up a, a pair of these so that in the middle of the aircraft there's no rotors there and I can I can attach my payload directly at the center of mass under the center of mass of the helicopter so the center of mass so long as the center of mass of my attach my, my payload is directly under the attachment point this shouldn't affect my flight characteristics of my helicopter so another trick that I use in order to get these things to fly I use the um, uh, a controller, the um, that little yellow controller that you see on top, and I set the pitch of the rotor blades to the throttle of the vehicle. So the the thrust of the yeah the thrust is uh, dependent on the throttle position. The RPMs, the torque output of the motors, none of that changes. The only thing you're changing during flight is the pitch of the blades. So imagine that the blade is perfectly horizontal; it's not going to create any thrust just as the blade starts to pitch it'll produce thrust either up or down so that's that's the gist of it and i'm sorry if that's not a, a, a great explanation there's probably other better tutorials that'll break down how the rotors function how the motors function and all that but um this is how i i design <laughs> helicopters um one thing you can I, I like to note is the the motors are typically way oversized you can you can drag the size meter down and they'll they'll produce plenty of thrust at the smaller edge of that, that spectrum. So I consider that a, a successful detachment, and that's my build with rotors. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.